Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is the energy vibration reading for the month of January for you, Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Okay, let's see what is coming up for you, Aries. There is a lot that has been going on. So the month of January is uh, bringing a lot of uh, new things for you, Aries. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for you, Aries, because it's a month of uh, information coming out. It is the month of uh, um, the Hermit, okay? So Aries, let's jump in. This month has five energy vibration, five weeks in a month, so be aware of that, Aries, okay? So the first energy we have is a Bohor Dalin. Judgment call is coming down. So information is going to be coming out. This is a water energy. So we are going to be seeing whether it's positive energy or what exactly is transpiring. Then we see you're overcoming an issue in the second week. So whatever this issue is, whatever that is transpiring, whatever it is that is coming out in the first week, you are going to be moving forward, overcoming it in the second week. The third week, you have a situation with your partner. If you're married, the energy of marriage is coming up in the third week. So that is a water energy that is going to have to, to do with relationship. In the fourth week, I see you're trying to balance out something, whatever that has transpired in the fourth week, you're definitely balancing this out. It is an earth energy. So there is a lot of water and fire. The second week is going to be a good week. The last week is the end of a cycle for you, to, uh, uh, Aries. Whatever is transpiring you, Aries, the last week is bringing an end to a cycle that has been transpired. So five weeks in this month, Aries, you're a fire sign. Your best week is going to be the second week and um, the third week with the energy of the lovers, but we're going to be seeing what is transpiring with the energy of the lovers. Okay, because that's your third week. Okay, so the last week you're ending a cycle, Aries. All right, so when we decide to end a cycle, a message come out, a new start is going to be coming in. So whatever you Aries was dealing with, whatever situation is a judgment call is coming in about a new cycle. So you're going to be receiving a new start, you Aries, and you're going to be moving forward. In the second week, going in the third week, I see you overcoming a situation. You're happy that you have overcome the situation. It could be you and your partner overcome a situation, whatever that was transpiring. But it has to do with people who are in relationships and partnered up. Then we see the Ten of Cups, a situation with a family. This has now been healed. A balance has been brought in the situation. So a situation with a family, um, an energy has been healed. And uh, I see some of you are dealing with a young Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarian. And whatever is transpiring, you, you people are moving forward, okay? And some of you, if you're in a relationship with an uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, I see a balance and the end of a cycle that is coming in. So some of you were dealing with young people between the age of 18 and 45. It could be a child, but yet still it could come up as something different. I see you're overcoming your burdens in the second week, whatever that has been transpiring with you, Aries. You're definitely overcoming your burdens in the second week, and this is good. In the third week, I see you overcome situation. You're celebrating in the third week with your partner, with your family. You're celebrating, and you're turning away and walking away from some burdens that you were carrying. You're turning away and walking away from some burdens you were carrying. In the fourth week, I see you have issues dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libran. These young people are coming up however way they are affecting you in your life. This person is not vibrating on a positive energy vibration. It could be a sister. It could be a cousin. It could be a family member. But whoever this person is, is an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libran. 
Now you're dealing with both the male and the female, so be aware of this. What we're seeing here is that some of you are also dealing with a young, um, it could be you people as uh, an Aries, but it could be a Leo or a Sagittarius or Ophiosis that you're dealing with. Whatever is transpired, I see you turning your back and leaving this person behind. The Ace of Pentacle comes up where a situation that some of you are dealing with a young person that is an Aquarius and Gemini. These young people, these young air signs are coming up and I see heartbreaks is here. Heartbreaks is here dealing with an young... Um, you ladies, you young ladies have a situation with money and heartbreaks is here. Whatever the situation with money is, it brings you some burdens because um, you have found yourself in some deceptiveness. Dealing with another fire sign, you have found yourself in some deceptiveness. And whatever this deceptiveness is, whatever is transpired, we're going to be taking a look at that because... Ooh, so I see news is going to be coming in of a new start, but that your burdens are going to be over and you're going to be celebrating this, okay? So news are going to be coming in and that is good. As we look at the first week going into the second week, you have a strong foundation. Whatever is transpiring, you have a really strong foundation. Um, it could be a new start at work for some of you, but it could be also a new start with a new apartment or a new house that you have. But I see you celebrating with whatever news came in. The end is coming to a situation. So whatever that you and your partner, you and your family was going through, I see you're overcoming this and the end is coming to the situation. And you are resolving some issues that was at hand. The energy of the world a lot of cycles is going to be ending for you, Aries. A lot of cycles in your life, okay? We have a new start. So there is another new start that is coming up between you and your partner or you and a family member. It's happening with you and your family because uh, um, in the third week going into fourth week, it has to do with something that you were balancing out with your family members. And this is going to be good. I see the offer of love is coming in to you. And this is coming in from an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra between the ages of 18 and 45. Whatever that has transpired between you and this person, I see this person offering you love. However, this person is offering you love. It's as if this person has realized the deceptiveness that has played. A judgment call is here and a judgment call is coming down in the third week. So it's good news. It's positive news because I see you celebrating a situation to do with family in the third week. And this is going to be good. A lot of news, swift news is going to be coming in. And this news, someone who is an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. And you have to deal with the masculine and the feminine energy. And they're between the ages of 18 and 45. And they are coming up and you're going to be receiving a lot of information about a younger person. This is uh, an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. You're going to be receiving a lot of news. You're going to be victoriously overcoming a situation with a young um another Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, you're going to be definitely overcoming a situation to deal with a Leo. So some of you are dealing with a young person. This is a Leo. It's a young woman. That's a Leo. Your wishes and dreams are going to be coming out. Whatever that was transpiring with this young person, you're overcoming the situation with this um. And this young person and you're coming out of a situation where your wishes and dreams is going to be coming out about a young Aquarian Gemini or Libra person the truth about the deceptiveness of stealing some money heartbreak is here and the heartbreak has to do with uh, uh, you're, you're moving through hardship 
and this was created by some other young people in your life now they could be leos sagittarians ophiosis aquarius gemini or libra but they're between the ages of 18 and 45 they have created some deceptive situation in your life and some of you are going to be finding out about some deceptiveness of money that was stolen and the money that was stolen has to do with a young Leo person but I see that you're going to be return this money you and you know whoever this person is it could be you that you have done some if you're between the age of 18 and 45 that you and a Sagittarius and a Leo has done some deceptive things that has to do with money but you got yourself out and you're letting the rest fall for what has transpired. So be aware of what is happening. For the older people, I see positive alignment of energy with a house. Some of you could be buying a house. Some of you, I see love is being offered to you guys. However, that is coming up. That is beautiful. So um, you Aries, this January is really looking really powerful. In the first week, there is going to be some judgment call about the house, but I see the news is positive and whatever that was transpiring. Um, it could be a, about a house or it could be about a job, a new offer for a job is going to be coming in. I see you moving forward and I see you're overcoming some burdens that Elias had created for you because you're standing up and overcoming that. In the second week, I see you overcoming a situation you're celebrating. I see the end to a situation. I see good news is coming in and your wishes and dreams is going to be fulfilled. Some of you could be unexpectedly receiving some money. In the third week, some of you are dealing with your partners. If you're married, I see happiness and joy. I see a new start. If there was some conflicts, uh, I see a new start. I see there was some deceptiveness that um, a young lady that is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra has done, and this is going to be coming out. In the four weeks, I see balance coming in between you and a young Aries, uh, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, and I see they're offering you love. Whatever is to inspire, they're offering you love, and I see the end to a cycle. So you guys have um, a seven and three, seven and twenty one, three, seven and twenty one. I see some worries um, of heartbreaks and the heartbreaks has to do with uh, you in uh, um, hardship. The heartbreaks have to do, do deal with some of you is in hardship. Let's see what's coming out. So I see the end. Of a, and a hardship with your work or with a house I see the hand of a hardship with work or your home and I see you overcoming this and moving forward so that is good I see news is coming in so some of you could get married in the December and uh, marriage certificate is coming in I see a positive um, news that is coming in that is going to be giving you a wonderful start I see Tef they have found out of a theft that has transpired and it has to do with an Aquarian, Gemini or Libran uh, that they have a um, theft. They, a theft was transpired. OK, I see positive energy of uh, situation overseas, burdens overseas, you overcome them or situation that was transpiring I see some of you could be traveling I see a new um, some of you could be buying new cars success is coming here your wishes and dreams is coming out about a deceptive thing that a young lady that is an Aquarius or Gemini has done I see the truth is coming out you're victorious and successful successfully overcoming a deceptive situation that has transpired I see um, um, the heartbreaks that you have with some hardship that there is a block been placed on a deceptive situation with a, with a Virgo. So some of you were dealing with a Virgo and um, a Libra and a Virgo. And I see that they are now being blocked. So whoever was this Libra and this Virgo, I see that they are now blocked and they are no longer able to assess 
and affect you in your life anymore because whoever this um virgo um or um uh, or libran was they were affecting and uh, there was some deceptiveness with this uh, uh libran there was a libran and this libran is now blocked they are not able to communicate or connect with you anymore whatever the sorrows was that you were dealing with with a virgo this is now over because this virgo has been blocked so some of you a virgo has created a lot of sorrows for you it is now over because it's as if the universe comes in and realize the deceptiveness that is at play and they have blocked this virgo who has been affecting you and assessing you because this Virgo has created a lot of sorrows for you and they have blocked this Virgo whoever this Virgo is so positive alignment of energies and whoever that was dealing with some issues uh, overseas or some issues with a car I see that this is going to be resolved whatever deceptiveness that was in your house or issues and situation that was affecting your house or your work I see that this is over good news is going to be coming in and this good news is a positive news of celebration you and your partner is going to be celebrating I see that they're going to be finding out about an Aquarian um, an Aquarian uh, a Gemini and a Libra that has done something deceptive now these are young people between the age of 18 and 45 but I see deceptiveness that has transpired the energy of the rat is like a, a, a theft that has transpired it is all coming out and information is coming in and the cycle is going to be ended with this deceptive theft that has transpired so wow um Aquarians so fire transformation and purification so um, use the energy of fire to remove all lower energies whatever deceptiveness that was at play um, as you use the energy of fire it is going to be transmuting all the lower negative energies and frequency that was transpiring in your life and move negative forces the other energy that you have is blue call upon Archangel Michael and it says if you're in a negative environment um, it creates a block and positive energies can get you through so a lot of you Aries um, use the energy of fire to clear your environment whatever is transpiring and happening use the energy of fire because that is what is going to clear your environment in this year I do love you guys whatever is transpiring and know that um, positive um, situation is coming up I see a theft that is going to be transpiring um, where an Aquarian Gemini or Libra is going to try and steal something but they are going to be caught okay so whoever these people are I see an Aquarian Gemini or Libra between the age of 18 and 45 is going to try and steal something but they are definitely going to be caught I love you guys namaste until next time please remember for the extended reading use the link below you have to um, log in and connect to um, uh, join my channel in order to access the extended reading namaste until next time